the Rosenberg grave, the grave of the spies who were executed in 1953 for sh selling secrets to the atomic bomb. Today is June 19th, 2013, so tonight is the uh, 60th anniversary. We got a clear shot of that. Tonight will be the 60th anniversary of their execution. They were executed just before sunrise or sundown. There's the sun right there. And they had to be executed before sundown because it would have violated their Sabbath beliefs, which apparently didn't involve not selling secrets to the Russians, but anyway. So they were executed shortly after 8 o'clock in the evening, so it's almost 20 years to the moment that they were executed. In the electric chair at Sing Sing for selling secrets to the Russians on how to build the atomic bomb. Ethel, born 1915, September 25th, and died on June 19th, 1953. Here's Julius, born in 1918. He was actually three years younger than Sh and Ethel. Died on the same day. Julius went first. Ethel went second. I don't know, about maybe ten minutes later. There's a time right there. All right. Well, that's pretty much it. You know the story. Go look it up on the internet. The Communist Spies. This is Wellwood Cemetery in Farmingdale, Long Island. It's a Jewish cemetery. We're here at Section 5. There's a little view of the cemetery here. Section 5 looks like it's Road G, if you're interested in coming to see it. Who's buried next to them? The Goldens. Buried in two, died in 2001. I guess that's her husband and buried in 2006. And two behind him are the Nancy and Al Golden who died in the 70s. And then here, I guess these are, these are children. Selma and Bernard Golden. I bet they're happy to spend eternity next to spies. But that's what happened. I don't know if they're related to him or whatnot, but this looks like the Golden family plot right here. So there's another Golden right there who died in 1998. So basically, they're just I don't know if it's coincidental that they're buried here or their family members or whatnot, but one more time before I shut off the Rosenberg grave. <laughs> Ethel Julius. Rosenberg. I'll tell you how to find it if you're in so inclined. Like I said before, it's Wellwood Cemetery, Section 5, Row G. There's the G there. The best way to find it is there's the entrance to it. And I'll go tell you where the intersection is so you, you can easily find it. It's Axiba, A-X-I-B-A Drive. They have these little cemeteries lined up in street form, so it's less easier to find, because they're large cemeteries. Look at this. Big ass cemetery here. The closest intersection would be Axiba Road and North Avenue. Technically, the cemetery is closed right now. So I just hopped over a little fence to get in, so it's no big deal. It's actually not block, block six. This area is block six. Block five is right behind it. I just showed you the intersection, but it's actually block five. Block five, and it's a little bit further down, about halfway in the distance there.